Good morning everyone, welcome to my channel. For those of you that don't know me, my name's Janice and I'm a Thermomix consultant. Today we are cooking a recipe from the recipe community, um, which is sweet potato waffles. So these, I make these quite often. Um, I make them and then I freeze them and then reheat them in the toaster and they come out crispy and delicious every time. So I generally save recipes um, to my Paprika app, which I've got on my iPad, but because I use my iPad to video my YouTube videos, um, I can't do both at the same time. So I've printed it out. This one is one that I've got plans on importing into my cookie do. I just haven't got round to it yet. So right here. Now, it says the first thing to do is to heat up your waffle iron. You, but I'm not going to do that because I need it plugged in here um, next to the Thermomix because that's where the power point is and it'll be in the way. So we'll do that um, at a later date. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add, I will link the recipe for this down below, um, the link to. So we're going to add in 260 grams of sweet potatoes. So that's a little bit more, but that's okay. And we're going to chop them for five seconds on speed seven. So we go back to our three buttons. Time is five. We've got no heat and we're going to go to speed seven. Okay. Now I generally check in the bowl first, um, but I have just washed it and put it back on the stand so I know that um, there's nothing in it. So that's our sweet potato. And we are going to, hang on, I think we scrape down the bowl. Yep, scrape down the bowl. Now I'll just grab some water because we're going to add um, 40 grams of water. I was a bit more organized than what I was. Um, 40 grams of water. One more drip. There we go. And now we are going to cook for three minutes. Um, Varoma temperature, so because we're going over 95 degrees, we're going to put the simmering basket on the top. So we go back here and it's three minutes, which is our first dial is three minutes. Roma temperature, we're going to dial all the way around. And when you get to 95, your Thermomix says it come, the message comes up to place simmering basket on the mixing bowl to prevent splashing. So we're going to go all the way around to Varoma, which is the maximum temperature. And then we're going to put the blade on speed one. Right here. So we'll let that cook for three minutes and then I'll be back. Okay, so that's, I'm finished steaming. And it says to scrape the bowl down. Okay. And we're going to add um, 30 grams of butter. So I've, I know this is 30 grams because I've already weighed it. Oh, it's 33 grams. And we're going to blend for 10 seconds on speed 7. So this is a, a really quick recipe. So that's our time and then our speed. What did I say it was? Speed seven. Okay. 
I will. When I scrape the sides down, I always take the time to scrape the lid as well when it says to scrape the sides down. I say this all the time. I just... Mm. Smells delicious. I love sweet potato. Rightio, so now we've got to add the milk, which is 165 grams of milk. It's not quite, but that's okay. Um, oh. Then we want flour. So that's 190 grams of flour. Um, an egg. Um, you can add sugar at this time. Um, it doesn't say how much, it just says you can add sugar. I, I have never added sugar. Um, desiccated coconut, 15 grams. Um, one and a half tablespoons of baking powder. So this, um, this is what gives us the, all the fluffiness. Now, I, um, I make my own baking powder um, with rice flour, bicarbonate of soda and cream of tartar. There is a, rest, uh, a video I've got on YouTube. I'll link it down below. It's very easy to make. You make your own rice flour using rice and then you take some of the rice flour and you add bicarb and cream of tartar and you've got baking powder. Um, what else? Cinnamon. We want a teaspoon of cinnamon. A bit of ginger at this time is really nice as well. So now we're going to clear up this mess. to mix this it is 10 seconds speed four so once again we'll set the time here no heat and then we'll go speed four Um, she lives next door, so whenever I make waffles, I just pop over and grab hers. Oh, yeah. So now. I don't know if you can see. Can you see the um, how airy that is? I'm going to give it a stir with this spoon. I'll just show you. Oops, hang on. That's the baking powder doing its job. Okay. So now this will make um, eight. So I never managed to get it equally distributed. But, um, oops, let's put a little bit more in. Here we go. Oh yeah. I'll be back when I get them out of the um, offline. Okay, so we've got them nice and cooked. Um, I do. I break them apart 
and then I freeze them. And I won't do that, it's very hot and I'm gonna burn myself. Um, and I freeze them and then they reheat beautifully in the toaster. I just wanna cut one off here. I don't know if you can hear how crunchy they are. Mm. But they are delicious. I've got one child who's waiting for one, two, one to eat now. Um, I'll have one and then the rest I will freeze individually. And then they, we pull them out when we're ready. Anyway. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, could you please give it a thumbs up, pop over to my channel and subscribe, and I really hope we'll see you next time.